Hello everyone, welcome to Breaking the Huddle. So glad to be with you today. You know, I just, I, I look forward to, uh, you know, Sunday and then comes Monday and then I get really excited for Tuesday to be here because I get to be with you. And, uh, you know, a few of you have asked about uh, Shaheen. Yes, we will do something together again, I promise you. But I, I started this series here out just with myself and uh, so I guess I'll complete it don't necessarily have to, but, uh, uh, you know, if it works out, I'll have her with me. But if not, you're just stuck with this ugly face. What can I say about that? Okay. But uh, I am so enjoying this. This is really, really, really ministering to me. Uh, you know, I, I guess the older you get, the more you uh, think about your health. And especially, you know, I, I make sure I get a thorough physical every single year. And then I go back at least two or three times just as a checkup on different parts of my body. Uh, I've lost too many friends that once played football my age, a little older, a little younger. And I don't know if they took care of themselves, you know, going to the doctor regularly or not. I don't know. But uh, I find myself being sensitive to that and being sure, making sure I do everything I can to... Uh, uh, take care of myself, you know. Hallelujah, I don't know if I've told you guys or not, but I fought diabetes for a lot of years. It runs in my family. And uh, praise God, I'm not on any more medication now. Um, a lot of it is the way that I drink water, of all things. And so, hey, if any of you out there hearing me, if you're interested, uh, contact my office, and I'll personally give you a call, and I'll talk to you about it. How about that? And Because uh, it works. It's worked for me. It's worked for a few other people I've given it to. And uh, of course, you got to watch your diet, but not in a way that you can't enjoy life, okay? I like my ice cream, okay? I said it. And my cookies, Mario cookies, you know. But uh, anyhow, that's, that's so funny. But uh, this series has really, really, really meant a lot to me um, because it is so important for us to be and to take these supplements of, of life, God's supplements. We've talked about, now we're into 2 Peter. For somebody there that's just new here with us today, we're in 2 Peter, um, first chapter. Pretty much we started with verse 5. Verse 5 says, add to your faith. Okay? So in other words, faith has to first be there. You can't do any of these supplements don't work without faith. They don't work. And there, it's the key ingredient in each of those. And so, but it says, add to your faith. The first, the first part was virtue or moral excellence. And then the next week we did knowledge. How do we gain knowledge? I showed you guys how to break the New Testament down. You can go to our website, mikebarber.org, and pull out, pull up that part two of God's supplements and you can see what I was talking about. I won't take the time here to do it on this program here. But that second supplement was knowledge. And then last week we talked about self-control. That's a, that's a very big, 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 big deal with me because i have not, most of my life, I've just not been able to at times have that self-control. That, that doesn't mean, I mean, since I've given my life to Jesus Christ, I've, I've not been in any more fights and like I used to all the time and et cetera, you know. I don't know if any of y'all saw the program here. You know, wasn't that many, just a couple of months or so ago now was a Super Bowl and I interviewed one of my coaches that coached with me with the Houston Oilers, Bum Phillips' son, Wade Phillips. And first thing out of his mouth, he goes, well, Mike, you know, when we finally got you to stop fighting all the time, you turned out pretty good. Well. You know, that's funny, but it's sad that that's what I rem I'm remembered by is, is, is fighting. How, how ridiculous. You're talking about stuck on stupid. Now, that's stuck on stupid there. But you know what? That he will increase and that I will decrease. And the more and more and more of me focusing on moral excellence, first uh, supplement we talked about, Knowledge of God, the second supplement, the better 
it has influence and impacts that self-control. And uh, I'm still not there, but boy, I've come a long way. And I'm still hungry for more and more of his righteousness inside me. And so that self-control, because you and I, we must understand, we represent him no matter where we are, no matter the time of day, no matter the location, no matter who we're with, we represent him. And so uh, as we reach for this preeminence of Christ, 1 Colossians 1, 18, I think it is, uh, preeminence, again, means surpassing anything we thought possible. That means that we have such a zeal for God that it's, and it's, it can't help but be catching. The people around, they're going to catch it. They're going to want that. What is it that's in you? What's in you? Well, you know what? Now we can sit back and say, you know, I not only gave my life to Jesus Christ, but I'm, I'm taking God's supplements. I'm, I'm taking this moral excellence and, and, I, I, and I'm striving for that and to have knowledge of him and to have self-control at all times because, you know, you can be having a great day. You turn a corner and just, excuse me, but all hell breaks loose. And you, so it's, it's got to be ever present there that se I will not act in a wrong way. I will act, no matter how bad it is, Mike Barber, Mike Barber, no matter how bad it is, I'm going to act right. I'm going to discipline myself. My self-control means everything to him because of who I represent. Amen? And so in verse 6, it says, so from knowledge, self-control, and from self-control, it says perseverance, or I like to say patient endurance, another verse of scripture says, a different translation, excuse me. First Corinthians chapter 15, 58 says this, be strong and immovable. I love that. Be strong and immovable. Uh, the reason God called me to prison ministry, it hit me here a few years ago. He knew I wouldn't quit. I am immovable. The Mike Barber Ministries is immovable. I don't care how big the mountain gets, how thick the mountain gets, no matter what the devil tries to throw at us, we are immovable. We're not going anywhere. We're going to be found guilty month after month going even into the least of them, sharing Jesus Christ. We're able to do that because of awesome people like you that pray for us. I mean, you truly pray for us. Many of you support us. No guilt obviously is too big, but even more obvious, I want you to know, no gift too small is too small. Any gift is appreciated by this ministry. Be strong and immovable. Always work enthusiastically. In other words, with joy for the Lord. You know, these people walk around here with these sour puss faces. Well, bless God. Hallelujah. What? Who are you going to infect with that? Okay. God's word says here that we are to work enthusiastically with joy, with pleasure, with honor. It's an honor to represent him for the Lord, knowing that nothing we do for the Lord is ever useless. Is that not powerful? 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Nothing, Mike Barber, we do is useless. When we are focused on the preeminence of Christ, surpassing anything that we could think of, and so add to my faith, I am a man of virtue, of moral excellence. I am also a man of knowledge. How am I getting that knowledge? Because I spend time in the Word. And let me just say this. It's not how much you know. It's what you do with what you know. So don't be intimidated by these people that can just quote the Bible backwards and forward. 
spit out two or three different translations. God bless them. That's wonderful. It's not wonderful. It's amazing. It's awesome. But that does not mean they have more power than you do. God says he's no respecter of person, place, or thing. And so you keep your head up and you keep it head high and you have the confidence in you because for the Lord, we can do nothing that is useless when we focus on him, the preeminence of him. We're talking now all about these God supplements that must be in our life. We will never have the life that God intended to us without all seven of these supplements. Amen. And so in Jesus name today, I am a man of perseverance. I am a man of endurance. Jesus said he, the Bible says that he endured the cross. He endured, he persevered. He didn't quit. He didn't jump off the cross. He didn't say, oh God, it's too much. Uh -uh. No, those stripes on my back, they did me in. I'm out of here. No, he endured, endured, he persevered. Why? The Bible says, for the joy that was set before him. Hey, do I get tired of this ministry? Yes. It's difficult believing for finances every month when you've got so many offers in front of you. It's exhausting. But I know who I am. And I know this that greater is he that's in the world, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Amen. And I know that inside me, and I know that the game is rigged. We win if we don't quit. So in Jesus' name, you are a person. You are that man, that woman of great endurance. You are a person full of faith. You are a person of virtue, moral excellence. You are a person of knowledge. You are a person of self-control. You are a person of perseverance, of endurance. You and I will not quit in Jesus' name. We have just begun. To God be the glory and honor for all things. Amen. Hey. I love you. I'm really getting a lot out of this. I'm really enjoying this. I thought I'd do one or two at a time, and I find myself just doing one at a time and just taking my time, and I'm really, really, really enjoying this. Hey, hit the likes button. Share with your friends, people that uh, you could share with, family, et cetera, that uh, you can send them to our website, mikebarber.org, and you can tell them to start with part one and go through this. Uh, a series that we're doing, God's Supplements, amen? And because uh, it will feed them in the right way. Hey, we love you. Mike Barr's Ministries, we love you, we love you, we love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your prayers, your support. And I promise you, I genuinely cannot wait to be with you again next week.